I am in my 17th year as chief of the Wyandot Nation of Oklahoma. Yesterday I received a small tour of the city. Roseville, I visited there and I'm here to say to the mayor and all the citizens of Wyandotte City, I'd like to have it back. <laughs> I do want to say... Uh, we were here in 1701. Uh, we moved down to Ohio Territory in the uh, early 1700s. Uh, we were there for about 100 years. We left there and went to Kansas City, Kansas in 1843. We left there in 1855 and ended up in northeastern Oklahoma. Of course, there are four Wendat groups, one in Wendake, um, Quebec, one in Anderton, here in Detroit, in Kansas, and in Oklahoma. On July 8, 2000, representatives of the four Wyandotte nations came to Michigan to participate in a tribute to the city of Wyandotte's founding people. The occasion marked the first time in 160 years that chiefs from all four groups had returned to the site of the tribe's former residence. Bronze sculpture, a gift from the Wyandotte Street Art Fair Committee, was commissioned to serve as a permanent memorial to these indigenous people. It is now my great pleasure to welcome all of you to this most special and memorable event here in the city of Wyandotte, the dedication of this bronze sculpture honoring our first settlers of the city, the Wyandotte Indians. I'd like to welcome all of you to the village of the Wyandotte chief named Walk in the Water. For many people gathered here today, this is a homecoming. This is a time of reflection. For the chiefs of the Wyandotte Nation, from Wendagi in Canada, from Wyandotte, Kansas, from Wyandotte, Oklahoma, and our local tribe, the Wyandotte of Anderdon, this is a sad but also happy time as they return to their village of Wyandotte. These are the descendants of the people who lived on this beautiful shore. They fished here, they hunted, they raised their families. The land was taken from them and they were dispersed to many directions and two countries today. But the first written account of the Wyandotte was in the year 1623. A Jesuit priest named Sagard that was traveling with the French fur trappers wrote an account of a game he saw played by the Wyandotte. The Jesuit Sagard described the golds that were made of willow branches and the pucks that were made of cedar and the flint stone runners hooked onto the bottom of their moccasins. Sagard talked about two teams one from one village on one side of the water that played the village on the opposite side of the river. They met in the middle to play this game. He spoke of broken legs, broken arms, broken collarbones, and even death with this game on the ice. The game he described is a game we call hockey today. Yes, the Wyandotte Indians gave us hockey. Hey, this really is hockey town. I am in my 17th year as chief of the Wyandotte Nation of Oklahoma. Kwahusha hockey, Hashindi Wyandotte. Ne machitao ko. Ne machitao ko neotere. Ne machitao ko. Friends, that yesterday I received a small tour of the city. 
And Grosseilla, is that the way you say that? Grosseilla. Huh? Grosseilla. Grosseilla. I visited there, and I'm here to say to the mayor and all the citizens of Wyandotte City, I'd like to have it back. <laughs> I do want to say that we have some chiefs upstairs in our happy hunting grounds. I know those chiefs are pleased with what they see here today. I know also that the chiefs, the present chiefs that are here today, are overwhelmed with what all of you folks have done. I think you will see when we unveil our greatest thing that's happened to us in a long time, you will notice that there is one person standing in that group. That person is a woman. The Wyandots have always honored and revered our women. Whenever we experience something that is very emotional to us, we say, my heart is big. I'm telling you, right now, my heart is bursting. I say, Ya Otero, how may des you? How ye de isa? That means, may our great spirit walk with all of you. It's hard to explain the feeling that you get when you <clears throat> come back to. To, uh, to where we used to be a long time ago. And what is, makes it so important is there's so many people here in this little town that have gone all out to make uh, this, 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 it's just an extra something, it's hard to explain. Mayor Steck, Chief Bearskin gave a beautiful rendition of what it means to give a gift. This gift is a basket made of individual pine needles. And it was made for our cultural, by our cultural coordinator, Darren English. Each one of these pine needles might have been discarded and just uh, kind of assumed that it wasn't valuable. And yet, when it joined with the others of different shades, of different lengths, it all of a sudden became a whole and something useful. Each one of these insignificant pine needles is important. And thus are the members of our communities, of Wyandotte, of our native communities as well. So Maristak, this is a gift from the Wyandotte Nation of Kansas to remind you how important each one of our beautiful people are. Thank you for this great honor Thank you for letting us come home. Teen, uh, in the mid-1700s, uh, we moved to Upper Sandusky, Ohio, and then after the Indian Removal Act of 17, or excuse me, 1835, we were removed to west of the Mississippi River. After that time, part of a state in Kansas, and then uh, part of, uh, of our group moved to Oklahoma and became the Wyandotte Nation in Oklahoma. Well, it's my group. A long journey toward Quebec, Canada. We have located at approximately 10 kilometers north, north of Quebec, Canada. And our territory includes approximately 1,700 members live outside of our community. Uh, I give you this in the, the flag, the nation one that. Oh, and uh, you have a turtle in the same death. Okay. For instance, the uh, mother heart. Right. Uh, he has uh, uh, teeth, uh, buffalo teeth. Full teeth. You, uh, 
Fisher will give you a nomination. Thank you very much. We would like to thank our honored guests that came from great distances to be with us today. This statue dedication today is now one of the many proud stories of the Wyandotte Nation's habitation in this area. The Wyandotte ability to survive their intuitive knowledge of nature allowed them to live from the Quebec region to the furthest reaches of the Great Lakes, flourishing in their early habitations. We are honored today by the city of Wyandotte's recognition as the Wyandotte Indians who were the founding fathers of your city. As the great, great, great granddaughter of the great chief Solomon Worrell, who was born in 1763, I stand here to welcome you and to thank you from my heart for showing the Wyandotte people, those present, and our honored ancestors the respect and recognition we deserve as indigenous people. It's a great day to be indigenous. I am so proud to be a part of this splendid tribute to the city of Wyandotte and its original settlers. I want to thank all who were involved for this truly brings fine art to everyone. Thank you. Above all, this piece had to do with giving an appropriate measure of dignity to a people who are truly survivors. Our job was to come up with a composition that would express a, a Wyandotte Indian family. The, the women were very held in much esteem. It was you traced your, your heritage through your mother's uh, side of the family, and uh, they had much power. And so she's standing. Um, and the, the father is a very strong figure, um, and he's uh, but he's also very uh, caring toward his family. I learned that that you don't just stick a piece of feather or, a, or an ornament on something and then it's an Indian thing. It, it, all of those things mean something. Um, the boy is, is uh, holding up fish and that tells the story of, of their being very dependent on the lakes. Well, an important part of any community is a connection to the land, uh, a connection to the area, and a connection to the history of the area. Uh, the history of the Downriver area, particularly Wyandotte, is long and varied. Uh, it starts with the Indians and an appreciation of uh, what they did here and why they were here uh, will help uh, not just young people but not so young people uh, appreciate uh, the beauty that is Downriver. And I thank the Creator for bringing all of us together on this beautiful day to honor our brothers and sisters of the Wyandotte Nation. This area belonged to them for thousands and thousands of years before the Europeans came. So we feel that we are, we're guests in their land, but we provide services to anyone that needs it. My name is uh, Raymond Gourouy and Wandat and Wandaki. My plant is wolf. I, I am a uh, girl with uh, Wandat Nation in Quebec City. I'm very happy here and uh, very good assembly, very good harmony, and uh, the statue is very, very, uh, let me, let me get some it's very good, very assembly, with representativity is good. Thank you. Uh, I'll tip my hat a little bit when I go by, uh, it's really a, quite a tribute to the Wyandots. We've already lost our language. We've already lost any idea of dress or ceremony or songs. It's all been lost. Um, so we're trying now to regain um, our heritage. Well, we have a saying in our tribe, you can't uh, uh, march forward by looking backwards.
Everyone, come inside and dance. Share all the great things that we have that North America has offered you. Dance for Mother Earth. Show expression. Show them how much you like this place that you live.